look at what the slow boat from China brought in this week. The AD8232 heart monitor board that can produce AKG waveforms as a very low cost kit easily found online. Typically these are done as Arduino projects. But we're going to pursue it as an STM32 blue pill. Martin and some of my other buddies on the HScope Telegram group have already done this project going USB. But I had an HC-06 module kicking around. So I decided to do away with USB. Which will then require its own power source. And a switch. And try to make it fit on this circuit board. The HC-06 was soldered directly to the board. I even crazy glued it to the surface. And these pins were bent back at an angle. Now sometimes the gadget gods are with us. You tell me that that wasn't meant to fit in here. I'm using this 1000 milliamp hour lithium battery. We need to tap into it and I suppose we could splice into these two wires but they're kind of short. So I've unwrapped it and I'm going to solder the two leads directly onto here and then I'll just rewrap it with this rib tape. These small switches are very inexpensive and easily found online. And look at the detail that I made here to accept it. Very nice. The board is double adhesive tape to the bottom of the box. There's a lot of LED activity here, which is why I chose a translucent filament. The LED on that 8232 board is particularly helpful when we try to make sure that we have good contact with our probes. Which is why I incorporated this light tunnel that lines up directly with that LED through a thin lens. And it does work great. Introducing HS-Heart. It communicates as a HS-101 BLT with the HScope app which can be found on the Google Play Store. There's a bit of a learning curve to getting some decent waveforms with these 8232 boards. Good electrical contact to the body with these pads is crucial. These cheapos here that are supplied with a unit don't really cut it. They don't make that good electrical contact. What can help with those is if you mix up a batch of electrode fluid using this aloe vera gel and common table salt. But for best results, you can't beat quality contact pads like these 3M. They boil down to about 20 cents a piece. And the placement of those pads is also very important. So with this model, red is a right arm, green is a left arm. Notice how spread apart they are as opposed to not being right here. And yellow is right leg. If you take a close look at uh, some of the waveforms that people are posting online with these 8232 boards, you will notice that the Q is missing out of the QRS. The RS is very easy to get. The Q is more difficult. And that was why I spaced these out. How you position these two at the top will affect whether you're able to capture that Q or not. The lower probe, the yellow one, the right leg one, the positioning of that will determine whether you capture a good T or not. Okay, we're paired with the tablet. I'm going to press record and I'm going to settle down for a while and strive for the best waveform capture I can. There. That should do it. Save it. And if we scroll through the work a little bit and we have a look at uh, after I've settled down, say at the 88 second, 89, 90 second mark here, that's a pretty decent waveform. About as good as you'll see on the internet with these inexpensive 8232 boards. It might be a new gadget, but it's an old ticker. Back of the envelope calculation. 2.5 billion beats and going strong. Take care guys.